Hey, this is Greg Hawks. This is Thing A Week 11, and I'm going to be showing you a couple things you can do with Hire Tool. I've used Hire Tool pretty much on a daily basis the last couple years. They, they have a lot of free functionality built in. And when I was looking for a job a couple years ago, I used tools like this as well as, well as manual techniques to, to unlock emails of hiring managers and, and recruiting managers. And it was able to lead me to interviews and get a, get a job, get out of the, the rut of being laid off. So it's a, it's a great tool. And I wanna show you some of the functionality, like I said, as both of, as a recruiter and a job seeker, because you can use it interchangeably. I'm gonna pick on my friend, Anita, I know Anita is out there looking right now. She's a very hard worker. She used to work in, in healthcare at Tandem Hospital, hospitals. So you can look her up on LinkedIn, find her information as far as uh, what's on her LinkedIn profile. And then you can download the Chrome extension hire tool from the Chrome store, push control shift H when you have it loaded up and registered and all that other jazz and you'll see a pop-up window come up. And I've already unlocked her information here with Hire Tool, but, and I don't know if you can see this, let me drag this over. But if you don't, if you haven't unlocked it, you'll, you'll see little asterisks here and you can click on it to unlock it. But a lot of times, especially for emails, I found this to be, pretty effective. I get personal emails this way. It also has work emails and now it can pull phone numbers. And I don't know if this is an accurate phone number, but you can always call and find out. The other thing is, let me see if I can, if I can pull an example of somebody I'm not connected with. And you might have noticed that, Hey, this is the free version of, of LinkedIn. Well, that's, that's one of the advantages of using this tool. Because I'm not on LinkedIn Recruiter right now either. So you see the little asterisk, click on it, and look, it pulled two emails. And this is an international candidate. So I don't know if that's, that's an actual email, but I mean, a lot of times I've found 70% of the time it's pretty accurate and you can contact the person directly that way. And especially if you're looking for a job and you can send your resume directly to a hiring manager that can get you out of the black hole. Another cool feature that I really like about Hire Tool is their cross-referencing feature. And I have it pulled up here, again with my friend Anita. Sorry Anita, I'm picking on you. But this is the desktop version of, of Hire Tool. Again, a lot of this stuff is free. They've got several different features here, GitHub search, Facebook search, AI sourcing, you can build your own Boolean. And the thing that I really like is the cross-referencing feature. And they've actually made several changes to where you only have one field, so you can literally put in somebody's name. And it'll look it, look it up for you on, among several different factors. So I look up Anita, pulls her profile. It also pulls her contact information, LinkedIn profile, Twitter profile, several other types of searches. I think they do a Bing search and a, a people search, which is a, a people finder. So lot, lots of power and functionality behind this tool. And a lot of these types of searches that it's doing is free. The other thing is you can put in a cert and let me see if this, this works. So nice it is a type of fire suppression engineer. Let me see if it pulls some information. So this is a good way to just do a, a general search if you're looking for somebody quick. So say I was looking for somebody, I don't actually remember their name, but I remember that they have this certification. It's another way to search additional functionality. So that's thing a week 11. Uh, if you can help out my friend Anita, I know she's looking and, and her and I talk quite a bit about hospital sourcing type stuff. So, um, so that's it. Hope it helps. And if you have any questions, feel free to, to ask me. Please subscribe and share. Let's help out the other sourcers and recruiters and job seekers out there.